Hi, we're Donnie and Anna, and when we purchased our Cabelgo K907 LC2 excavator, we knew that it was going to need a little bit of work. And the first thing on our list of things to do to the excavator is to install a Holman pattern changer spool valve, which will allow us to swap the machine back and forth between CAT and John Deere controls. Most newer machines have the ability to swap back and forth between John Deere and CAT controls very easily. However, because our machine is older, it does not, and that's where the valve changer comes in. So with the ISO pattern, which is the way this machine is currently set up, the right-hand stick picks the boom up and down and curls and uncurls the bucket. With the left-hand stick, this will bring the arm in and out and swings the machine left and right. Now with the SAE pattern, the John Deere pattern, which I'm used to, the left hand stick would pick the boom up and down, swing the machine left and right, and the right hand stick is gonna push the arm in and out and curl and uncurl the bucket, which is what I wanna change this pattern to. If I just change the pilot lines around, then it'll be just SAE John Deere, and then if someone else gets on the machine, that is used to cat controls then they'll be lost so by putting in the pattern changer then anybody can run this machine so i'm going to put these bags on here to keep these clean when i feed them through the machine so i'm just color coding these so that i know where these things go And the first step of this project is to locate the four pilot lines that control the arm in and out functions and the boom up and down functions and then route them through the pattern changer valve. I, I can make it over. I can. Hello. Hey, go daddy. Hey, go daddy. Hello. Hello. In order for the pattern changer valve to be able to swap the arm and boom functions, we're going to have to remove four lines from the main control valve manifold bank. Route them to the pattern changer and then extend four new lines from the pattern changer back to the main control valve manifold. is going to be blue.
So that should be it. All we gotta do is anchor it down, but we're gonna run it first, check for leaks, and see what happens. That is super exciting to have this thing operating the way I'm used to operating it. So that actually went surprisingly well. Looked at the drawings and figured out the best way to route these and I got the lines made to length. And I guess the hardest part was just locating everything. But once I figured that out, it, it actually wasn't too bad. The reason we don't have a bucket on this right now is my dad and my uncle offered to give me a hand fixing the teeth. The shanks were really worn and they're gonna help build it up with some weld to make the teeth fit tighter. And then also we have a hook that we're putting on the back of the bucket and they're helping us with that right now. So if I had a bucket, I would try this and dig some dirt, but I can't right now. enjoyed the video and if you did it would mean a lot to us if you give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe well until next time bye tell me what you found these i want to see a smile I'm a... you're a deer yes you're a big deer <laughs>